Hello again everyone, Dflex here, Fur but Fair Gaming. Wanted to bring you a new video as my weekly reset uh, didn't work. Uh, apparently some settings in OBS got messed up and it went back to an original default that didn't actually um, access the mic and I didn't even notice it. So I appreciate um, someone mentioning that so I could uh, rectify the problem. Uh, anyway, so the weekly reset has gone and today is Wednesday, so everyone knows it is a new week with new stuff coming. Uh, as for the uh, weekly event, it is emergency operations. It's just, you know, doing a uh, world galaxy stuff, <laughs> I guess the best way to put it. You just, there's a lot of uh, operations and uh, PvP content for Conquest. That's about it. There's nothing uh, event until next week, which is a Rat Ghoul event, so you can make some big money now that weapons are customizable again. So uh, the crystals usually go for a bit of money, and I will put a video out next week showing that. Uh, as for the non-seasonal rewards, I will go through them quickly as I did it in the last video, but nobody could hear. So uh, you have the two droid customizations. Oops, definitely don't want to put out that. <laughs> If you like uh, the two versions of it, you also have the Pentao Steed as always, the Eternal Empire Patroller, which is not a terrible mount, not an amazing mount, it's just there. <laughs> the statue, if you need the deco for your place, or if you want the statue deco. Uh, also a pet as always. And then you have the HK-55 Blaster Pistol. The one of the ugliest ones I find for a mount is the Dagger Star. It's just too big and clunky for almost everywhere. But if you like it, by all means, pick it up. Um, Shea is available if you don't have Shea. Shea is one of the best DPS companions in the game. It is only marginal, so it's not going to be groundbreaking by any means. But if you want the absolute best on best, it will be the best marginally. Remember, marginally, there are very good companions as well, but Shea is up this week. You have the Battle Cruiser that is also available. It's one of my favorite ones to follow you around between that and the uh, Gravestone. Uh, and then one of my favorite all time mounts in the game, and that is the Rapid Recon Walker. It is just a nostalgic mount for the walker. It goes all the way back to one of the original Star Wars movies, and it just looks really, really great. Uh, that's available, and it's only three tokens. So, if you need any of those, definitely come pick them up. Um, and we'll just check on over at Kai, because Kai had some decent stuff this week uh, to pick up if Welcome. you needed Find it. Out before it's all gone. Two times of trouble, which is going to be your actual tactical if you're running Hatred or Serenity. So if you do not have that and you plan on running either one of those specs, definitely come grab it. Uh, it's on for you know less tech frags, still same amount of credits, but less tech frags. So save yourself some tech frags, come get it here. Uh, this is also a decent tactical. It's not uh, the most amazing, but it's not the worst and there will be some play with this one. So. If you have the schematic for Arms Tech Tactical for the Operative and Scoundrel, and it is the probe, probe becomes an instant cast, and Kodo Infusion can be casted while moving. So it's a pretty decent tactical. I would recommend getting that if you're an Arms Tech. Armor Mech, your set is going to be the Wodes, Legs, and Feet, and Rolling Boil is available, and nobody uses Rolling Boil, so nobody cares. <laughs> that is all that one has. Uh, if you have any other questions, definitely leave a comment below, like, share, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll have a new build video out for everyone this week, so um, I'll keep you posted and keep an eye out for that. Uh, once again, it was Deflect, Firm and Fair Gaming. We'll see you in the next video.